Minimum bounding box provides the material envelope of a part with just a few clicks. The popular use for the tool is to quickly calculate the minimum stock size for the material needed for machining. It automatically creates a CAD solid model around the part and a report of dimensions, volume, and weight. For convenience, it provides the input fields to add how much excess material is required, which then reports the final stock dimensions. Auto Hole Axis allows the operator to select all holes in the model with one click and instantly create several types of CAD entities associated with the holes. Create circles, center points, center lines, and axis vectors. All lines are adjustable by scrolling, incrementing, or typing in the length value. It includes an option to conveniently select hole diameters matching any hole picked. This tool for CAD selection of all holes lets the user grab them with a quick click to assist with many CAD, programming, or measuring tasks. A useful statistics button provides a text report of all the hole data in the model based on what's selected. Auto Flip Normals makes it quick and easy during model prep to change the direction of CAD surface normal vectors. The direction is essential for CMM inspection, so the measuring software can correctly offset measurements for probe compensation. Normals can be flipped one at a time by mouse picks. They can be all flipped in the opposite direction at once, flipped outside for closed body shapes, or set to a graphic screen view when that works the best. Resizable normal vectors can be displayed for each surface for another helpful visual check. Verisurf Planes tools provide several productivity-enhancing shortcuts to help users working with CAD planes reduce the number of operations necessary to complete common tasks. Following is a brief look at Verisurf Planes, tools that provide improved and abbreviated workflows. Grow Planes lets you pick a CAD plane or edge of plane, and with a single click all edges or the edge pick will extend 10% with each click. Shrink Planes lets you pick a CAD plane or edge of plane, and with a single click all edges or the edge pick will shrink 10% with each click. Trim Planes will trim one selected plane to the next selected plane, deleting the part of the plane on the side of the junction not picked. Trim Multiple Planes will trim all the planes selected to each other all at once, simply by trimming each plane that crosses another and making a reasonable estimate of which sides to keep. Distance between planes will provide a quick measurement of the distance and angle between two closely parallel planes or the angle only between two off-parallel planes selected. Bisect Planes creates a plane midway between two selected planes after selecting the two planes. Single Point Planes creates a plane with one click on the current CAD construction plane, useful for many tasks. Intersect Planes creates a line at the junction of two planes after picking the second plane. The result is a straight line representing the intersection. Create WCS tools make it easy to construct work coordinate systems in Verisurf and Mastercam. WCSs are often required for tasks specific to a part. Sometimes referred to as a local or part coordinate system, it's a frame of reference based specifically on the part or a set of features on the part. It's common for CAD models to be provided with coordinate systems based on the next assembly, and therefore not suitable for many tasks related to the individual part. These activities include machining, CMM inspection, and other manufacturing activities that start with the 3D model. Verisurf WCS tools make creating a WCS easier and with fewer steps in the workflow. Toggle WCS axis turns on and off the brightly colored arrow cluster that shows the X, Y, and Z axis, their origin, and the orientation of the active work coordinate system. The axis system indicator may also be referred to as the gnomon. Turning it on helps the user see and manage the active reference system, as well as additional reference systems available in the model. WCSs are managed in the Planes Manager, accessible from the View Ribbon Bar Planes icon. WCS by three points prompts the user to select the origin, then a point along the x-axis, and finally a point to define the xoid plane. Now visible and anchored at its origin, the user can edit the name, check to make it the active WCS, and toggle rotation about any axis. 
The new WCS is then visible in the Planes Manager. Create WCS by two lines prompts the user to select a line that defines the x-axis, and then select a line representing the y-axis. It then becomes available for further editing via the dialog. Create WCS by three planes prompts the user to select the first plane for the z-direction. Then, select the second plane to define the x-axis, and then pick the third plane to get the origin. The WCS then becomes available for further editing via the dialog. Create WCS by plane plane origin. Select a plane to define the z-direction. Select the next plane to set the x-axis. Then, select a point to define the origin. It then becomes available for further editing via the dialog. Create WCS by plane line point. Select the plane to define the z-direction. Select a line to define the x-axis, then the point of origin. The WCS then becomes available for further editing via the Create WCS controls. Create WCS by plane axis origin. Select a plane to define the z-direction. To define the axis, select the first point, then select a second point to set the x-axis direction. Finally, choose the point of origin. Create WCS by plane line line. Select the plane to define the z-direction. Choose a line to set the x-axis. Select another line to define the y-axis. The WCS then becomes available for further editing via the Create WCS controls. Create WCS by matrix. This advanced function allows the operator to define the x, y, and z values of the new origin and the directional vectors of i, j, and k. Create WCS by x, y, z, a, b, c. This advanced function allows the operator to define a new WCS relative to an existing WCS and set a new origin and rotations a, b, c about the x, y, and z axis. Power Select is a tool that makes it easy to pick a group of CAD surfaces by selecting a single seed surface. Here we have a model of a sheet metal part, much like a formed aircraft skin panel or a stand automobile body panel, where several surfaces make up the inner and outer skins. Here we'll use the Verisurf MBD thickness tool to highlight 0.075 material thickness. After clicking the Power Select icon, we mouse click one of the surfaces and the tool instantly finds and selects all of the surfaces on the outside of the part. From there, the selection can be treated as a group to be used for tasks like CNC programming or CMM profile inspection. Here we'll hide the inner and edge surfaces, highlighting just the outer skin selection. And next we'll do the same with the inside surface as an example of a tooling surface that a CNC programmer might want to isolate for path programming, for example. All the contiguous surfaces are selected with just one click. Another example might be selecting the complete inside of a pocket on a ribbed machine part. Here several surfaces represent the pocket including upstanding ribs, the bottom floor, and the connecting fillets. With Power Select you can pick them all with just one click and you are ready for the next step in your workflow.